Hey guys, Marshall here with Physio U. I'm here with Kristen. And today for the Mentoring Minute, we're gonna talk about chronic ankle instability or chronic ankle sprains. They're fairly common. One study stated that over 23,000 ankle injuries, so all ankle injuries, are occurring daily in the United States. Um, and of those ankle sprains, unfortunately, 34% of patients still have symptoms. So one third is still have symptoms six months later. Right? That's kinda, that's a lot of people still having pain. So the idea is after an ankle injury, right? It tends to all follow the acute phases, so, and they use now the word police instead of rice. They use police, so protected optimal loading. So whether that's using crutches or a cane and a brace, but actually starting to put weight on it early versus non-weight bearing, okay? And then the ICE being the same, ice compress, elevate for swelling control. So that's all the early phases. Get their range back. Now in the later stages, that's where we can try to be more effective in making patients have less pain at six months and getting back to all their normal activities. So there's a systematic review that looked at 20 RCTs to identify, well, what's the best type of treatment for these types of patients? Um, some of the outcomes they used were just postural sway and single limb stance, right? So pre, post, pre and post testing. They looked at star excursion balance tests, so with the anterior direction, posterior medial, posterior lateral. Um, and a lot of these studies all use those measures, as well as proprioceptive testing um, to determine what had the best benefit. So early on, it's going to start with just proprioceptive training. So just having the patient stand on one leg, right? Having them close their eyes to take out vision to make the proprioceptive components of the ankle work harder. Progression was then to unstable surfaces. So wobble boards, uh, dining discs, BOSU balls, Eryx, anything that's going to challenge that proprioception. So what one of the studies showed is that four weeks of just the proprioceptive training had improved outcomes, which is great. However, the next step would then be trying to put into more sport specific. So a lot of the articles looked at hopping. And what they found was that lateral hopping had the best changes or best outcomes for return to sport with less symptoms. So if we start with just a single hop, so I'm starting the right leg, we've already been working a lot of single limb stands, eyes open, eyes closed. Now we're progressing to hopping. So we're gonna hop towards me, All right? We want them to be able to stick it with good control. Hop away, good, one hop at a time, good. Back towards me. We can start to add perturbations every time she lands. Away, good, good. We can progress it now, so hop towards me. Good. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop there and hop back. So ready, so quick hop, ready and go. One, two, and again, add perturbations, right? The goals are trying to build proprioception, build stability. All right, besides our single lateral hops, we can do figure eight hopping. So then walk over there, right there, good. And you go ahead and do nice, slow, stable figure eights. Nice and slow, controlled, good. Progress it to be a little bit faster now, all right, good. good. And relax, good, all right. We can also do forward diagonal jumps. So you're kind of jumping like a zigzag across, all right? Hold it, all right, and again, hold it, good. Turn around, same thing going back, hold it. We can add perturbations, right? So as they start to get better at it, add perturbations. Good. And then lastly, we can do multiple lateral jumps in a row. So start over that way a little bit more. And do four lateral jumps towards me. One, two, three, four. Stick it. Be able to hold it, be able to hold it, be able to hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. And four lateral jumps the other way. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. And what studies show is that proprioceptive and jump training had better outcomes than braces and better outcomes in everter strengthening, peroneal strengthening, for um, return to sport with less recurrent ankle sprains. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the ankle instability stuff, and thank you, Christopher, for all your jumping. See you guys next time.